welcome to the channel in this video i want to talk about how snow plowing damages your truck and i want to take a look at our 2019 f-250 it's got like 8,000 miles on it and we've been plowing with it for two seasons we had it for one year but we've plowed with it for two seasons i want to walk around the truck and show you what kind of damage this truck is taking on after two seasons of snow plowing now the last two seasons of snow plowing plowing were not particularly busy but we did see some action just to put in perspective the blade on this plow is just getting ready to be replaced um, on this uh, Fisher XLS we just wore through uh, the bottom bolts here and when you put the plow down on the ground it's getting kind of close to our um, it's getting kind of close to the uh, bottom you know of the plow the the amount of the amount of the blade left is getting kind of thin and pretty soon we'll be hitting here so it's about ready for a blade replacement uh honestly a couple more pushes and it'll be ready for a blade replacement we're just finishing out the year so that just kind of puts into to perspective how much use the truck has had um a lot of the snow season two has been residential where you don't plow so the vehicle's been in the elements for 12 hours at a time plus with the snow with the uh the plowing it doesn't do a ton of plowing but it is in elements for 12 to 15 hours at a time sometimes longer the paint really takes a beating you know toward the end of the day of plowing it really looks like the truck has been out mudding that's how bad it gets you can barely see out of the windows and being that it's silver the silver trucks they hide a lot of uh blemishes because this truck really is scratched up pretty bad but you really can't see it because it is silver uh let's just look at the paint closer when you get closer you do see that there are some scratches things like this that are kind of around the truck from branches or whatever that's that's hit the truck um this is a broken window that's not from plowing that's from uh that's from a rock or something hitting the window and I, I didn't know this, but the windows are double plane, so it didn't actually break the whole window. It just cracked the outside plane, but it's still solid. It hasn't been compromised in any way. Just the outside plane is broken. Um, but looking down the side of the truck, this side of the truck looks pretty good. When you get to the bed, you do see a lot of marks. Um, here's a little scratch here. And being that the paint's silver, the scratches really don't show too bad. But you can, as you can expect, the, the uh, paint does get damaged. Now, we have a salt spreader on here. Um, having this, it makes it really hard to see out of the back of the truck. So that adds a lot of potential danger, a lot of potential damage. Makes it really easy to back into stuff. I believe there is a dent on the rear bumper somewhere. Uh, I don't know exactly where it was. I think it's on the driver's side. Right there. There's a small little small little dent there something got backed into or someone ran into something probably can't see that on camera but we installed this rubber guard here to protect the salt from getting blown underneath the truck um it's helped out a lot but yeah that uh but some salt still falls on the bumper now we did do a salting without this rubber guard on the truck and right away there was some damage to the truck from salt this is really critical we didn't have it on and the season turned before we got the rubber put on the truck and you can see that the hitch took on a little bit of damage there as far as the rust starting the corrosion starting and that's because uh the like i said the rubber guard that we have here wasn't here and this metal thing fell off so i, I just went ahead and took it all the way off so we didn't lose it so the truck got blasted with salt for one day again not ideal you really need something like this to cover it and then even better something like this to uh protect the salt protect the truck from the salt uh i think i feel like with this rubber guard that we put down the back side of the truck it really adds another level of protection that pretty much makes it more or less like any other vehicle would be in the elements i mean yeah there's more yeah we're in the salt a little more because we have salt on the truck but um it helps it helps out a great deal keeping the salt from just blasting the underneath of the truck um over here on the pass passenger side there is a dent 
in the door it's a pretty bad dent and this isn't from snow plowing either that's actually from uh, when i first got the truck i was in a parking lot and there was a really low pole that i didn't see and it just swiped the side of the truck um they quoted me like fifteen hundred dollars to fix that but that's not actually from plowing uh looking underneath at the frame here on the front wheel and surprisingly the frame is pretty clean and we haven't actually fluid filmed or anything we just kind of rolled with it and the frame looks pretty decent i mean the clear coat that they use or not the clear coat but the uh the e-coat or whatever you call it that they use on the frames nowadays is pretty good stuff it doesn't seem to be compromised in any way uh it looks pretty clean underneath the truck uh looking underneath at the frame rails the frame rails look pretty clean I just sprayed it off, but yeah, the frame rails are holding up pretty good. You can see some rust on the exhaust, but you know, the exhaust, the drive shaft, things like that, they show rust. But other than that, it's not too bad. Um, the front diff, you know, it could have been, it, it could be undercoated and all that, but this truck has not been, and it seems to be holding up okay, considering it's seen every snowfall that the state of Michigan has to offer. Uh, let's pop the hood and look underneath uh, the engine bay and see if there's anything that you can see under the hood. Popping the hood. So I do spray off the engine every once in a while. Not after every storm, but every once in a while I spray off the engine and here's how it looks. Now when you look in there, you can see that there is some rust on the one bolt uh, right there. There is some rust right there on that bolt. But other than that, it's not too bad because I've been pretty good about spraying off the motor. Um, I know in my last Super Duty, I wasn't that good about it and then it needed some engine work. And the mechanic told me like, man, uh, plowing kills your truck because your exhaust manifolds just get blasted by the elements. And he ended up having to take the uh, valve covers off and he said it was a hell of a time getting the uh, valve covers off the truck. Let me see if I can get up in here a little bit better. <laughs> so the mechanic told me he had a hell of a time getting the uh, valve covers off of the truck after two years of plowing. This truck, this I think that truck had three seasons, two years. This one's just got two seasons in one year. And it's a 19, it's got like 10,000 miles. It's still pretty clean. It could be this truck could be cleaned up and resold like it never plowed, but generally these trucks the value stay pretty stays pretty good, and I usually sell them with the plow and everything and just get a new whole new plow and whole new setup. But yeah, it's like the aluminum really does hold up good. The scratches haven't corroded, you know, with steel. Uh, the steel bodies are nice, but if you get a deep enough scratch it will start to corrode in that spot whereas the aluminum no matter what it's not really corroding uh one thing about the aluminum that i have noticed is it, it does seem like the aluminum bodies are a little bit easier to dent uh particularly when you're where you get in and out of the vehicle and you try to kick the get the snow off your shoes um you can tell that this panel in here is dented from people kicking it trying to get the snow off their shoes now it's not too terrible i don't know if you can see it on camera but i've had to tell guys don't kick the truck because just normal kicking of the panel here it does show footprints like dents from kicking of the snow off the shoes if you can see that it dents really easily i've never really seen that dented out on a steel truck but being that it's aluminum maybe it's it's a little softer i'm not sure but yeah that's uh that's pretty much it the interior is a little dirty but nothing crazy you know no crazy damage or anything we fill this truck with guys and we all go to work and having a crew cab is really nice because the guys in the back seat you know really enjoy it um but yeah that's pretty much it two years of two seasons of snow and the thing's holding up pretty good i think uh silver paint's good i think the silver paint helps out a lot and i think 
doing a little bit of precautions. I could be a little better with the fluid film and things like that, but just doing a rubber and everything and rinsing the truck, washing the truck after every storm. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit OCD with washing the truck after every storm. Not only do I wash the truck after every storm, but I'll wash it again after a couple of days. You know, I'll wash the truck after the storm, and then a couple of days later, I'll wash it again because there's usually something that gets missed. So, anyway, that's a look at the truck. That's a look at the damage after two years. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Hope to hear from you soon in the comment section. Uh, I try to respond as much as I can. Have a great day. Share the video. Tell me what you think about the truck. And over and out. Bye.